my name is Greg Brown. I'm an instructor at the Krauss Center for Innovation. In a previous video, I shared a powerful process called design thinking. In this video, we're going to spend the next six minutes exploring a crucial part of that process, creating new ideas. It's wonderful when a creative idea just suddenly pops into your head with very little effort. A lot of people think this is how most creative thinking happens, but it's not. It's not always easy to be creative. Sometimes it can feel like hard work. You've probably run into some creative roadblocks yourself. You may even feel that you're not that great at coming up with new ideas. But there are a lot of ways to get around creativity roadblocks. Here are three tips for you. Your memory is full of wonderful ideas and experiences. A familiar memory can be a stepping stone to other ideas that take you to even better ideas. Design thinkers use Scamper to generate lots of options quickly. Each letter stands for a way to make an old idea into a new one. Let's try a few letters now. S is for substitute. Say you are planning a birthday party and your first idea is to serve cake. What could you substitute for cake? How about pie? A stands for adapt. Let's say you remember a Halloween party where everyone wore costumes. You could adapt that idea for your party with a make your own party hat station. P stands for put to another use. Sometimes there are pinatas at birthdays. What if instead of breaking the pinata, you used it as a centerpiece and hid the candy and balloons that people could pop? Usually the birthday person receives cards on their birthday. What if you reverse that and gave thoughtful cards to each of your guests? You can see how Scamper helped us turn an ordinary birthday into something special. Here's tip number three. When you look at a plastic spoon, what do you see? Probably something to eat with. But a plastic spoon has lots of interesting attributes. For example, it's strong and yet it's also flexible. And everybody knows that plastic spoons make fantastic catapults. After I find that ball, we're going to do some creative design mashups. In the old days, people used fountain pens that needed to be filled with ink, which often made a mess. A bank cashier designed a new pen that was inspired by a pencil. This creative mashup made pens as easy to use as pencils. That's pretty cool. I'm going to introduce you to five creative mashups. You can work on them right now just by pausing the video, or you can wait until the end when you have more time. I've included a couple of sketches at the end of the video, just in case you'd like a little inspiration. Here's the first mashup. Design a flag inspired by a kite. Say the leaders in a new country ask you to design a flag for them. They want the flag to stand out from all the rest. Pause the video now and make a quick sketch of your idea. If you want more time to think about other ideas, that's fine too. Here's the next challenge. Design a backpack inspired by a monkey. Monkeys are good at holding on to their moms. So how would you use the idea of a monkey to inspire a backpack design? Pause the video now if you like. Sketch what a car might look like if it had some of the features of an airplane. What if your car had windows like a cockpit? Pause the video now if you'd like to. What attributes of a lobster could be applied to a desk? Let's see. Lobsters can bend. How about a desk that can bend? What other connections can you make? Pause the video now if you want to think more about this one. This mashup will really challenge you. Imagine a building inspired by a sand dune. It might feature graceful curves that harmonize with nature, and it should be able to survive high winds and hot sun. Pause the video now and make a quick sketch of your building idea. 
Well, I hope you had some fun with those mashups. Be sure to compare the drawings you did with the drawings that other people did. I think you'll be very surprised to see how different and how creative everybody's solutions can be. This process is something you can use on any challenge you run across. Just be sure to remember these key points. Think of ideas as stepping stones. Use Scamper to increase the number of creative options you have. Look past the obvious uses of objects and think about their attributes. Use mashups to stimulate your creative side. The most important thing to remember is that you're already creative. You just need to put those skills to use. And you may have to get around a few creative obstacles to get to your goal. Thanks so much for joining me today. Earlier I promised to share some sample mashups with you, and they're coming up next. I hope they inspire you to create your own great mashup solutions.